In this video, I want to go through how you take a radio station's broadcasting frequency and find the energy and wavelength of that frequency. The frequency that I'm looking at is 103.1 megahertz, so that's a radio station where I live. And what we're going to do is convert that into energy and wavelength. So first thing you want to do is write down all of your known and unknowns and your constants, okay? So the first thing is that we have new or F, that stands for frequency, and we have that. This, that's the 103.1 megahertz. That's the radio station's frequency. We'll deal with that megahertz in a little bit because that is going to be an issue, but let's keep listing what we know and what we're trying to find. H is Planck's constant. That's 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules times seconds. It's a tiny little packet of energy. So then um, C is the speed of light. That means we can use this because any electromagnetic radiation, um, technically in a vacuum, will travel at the speed of light. And since a radio wave, um, this FM radio wave is part of the electromagnetic spectrum, we can use this number. The other thing is don't get confused. You might have a teacher who writes it like meters per second like that instead of meters per second that way. Okay, next. We're trying to find energy. The common unit of energy in physics and chemistry is joules. And then wavelength, it's also called lambda, has a unit of meters typically. All right, so we've listed everything that we know. And one of these equations is going to be a match for calculating energy, and one's going to be a match for calculating wavelength. The other thing you can do, if you're, if you're ready, you can work independent of equations as long as you know how to convert your units. So that's the most important thing, is to get all these units to match. So joules, seconds, and meters are great. The problem is we have megahertz. Now, don't be too concerned. Hertz is a, the same thing as a per second, and it is also the same thing as writing seconds minus one. So the hertz really isn't the issue. It's the megahertz that's the issue. So we need to take our 103.1 megahertz, and we need to convert that into just hertz, or what's called per second, okay? So you need a metric conversion where you're gonna go from megahertz to hertz. And the answer to that is in one megahertz, there are one million hertz. So on your calculator, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 103.1, or, you know, if you like scientific notation, it's actually 1.031 times 10 to the two, same thing and we're gonna multiply it by a million. So I'm gonna grab my calculator. Every video I make, I use a different calculator depending on what one you have. This time I grabbed this one. So 103 point, oops, that's not right. 103.1, there we go. And we're gonna multiply that by a million, which is one, and then I have to use the second and then little x to the negative one. But really what I'm getting is that EE key called the exponential notation key, and then to the six. So that's multiplying by a million and so I end up getting 1.031 times 10 to the eighth. And remember, you know, if you were to win the mega bucks, you'd win a million dollars. So that's kind of how I tell my students to remember that. And then that's Hertz. So the other thing again is this 1.031 times 10 to the eighth um, second minus one. Same thing, okay? So now we've got our newer frequency in the right unit and we have it in her, um, Hertz or second. Per second. Okay, so let's move on to the next step. So we got to figure out which one of these equations looks like the one we're going to use. We're trying to find energy first. So really you've got this equation or that one. Um, and since we have Planck's constant and we just calculated frequency, let's use the first one. So that one is basically saying that E equals H times V. So that's Planck's constant and frequency. We don't need to isolate any variables, we can just put our numbers in. So again, put your actual Planck's constant. There it is. And then we need to put in our frequency, which is right above here, right there, 1.031 times 10 to the eighth uh, seconds minus one. And kind of like I said, the whole point is, yeah, you can use equations, but honestly the goal is to convert your units. So seconds is gonna go away. And that's great because we want joules as an answer. So that's looking good. Let's grab our calculator. This one's a little tougher if you were trying to just calculate it in your head. So 6.626 
second, and then I gotta push that button right there to get the exponential notation, then negative 34. I sometimes just hit equal, so there we go. Times 1.031, same thing, make sure you're using exponential notation, and then eight, and I get this answer, 6.831, oh boy, 406 times 10 to the negative 26 joules. Okay, great. Now, time for significant figures. Our radio station's uh, frequency was 103.1, so you've got a captive zero and you've got three uh, non-zero digits, so that's four. So we can keep four you know, significant figures in our answer. So I can keep uh, 6.831 times 10 to the negative 26 joules. Excellent. I'm going to try to write that over here so that I can know I'm done with one of the two things I set out to do in this video. There we go. Okay. The other thing is, you know, be nice to your teacher and box this out. Okay. Great. Off we go to the next one. So our next one's trying to find a uh, wavelength. So we can use Really, you could use either one of these equations, but I'm gonna go for this one that is uh, C, which is speed of light. Again, FM radio waves travel at the speed of light because it's electromagnetic radiation, so we can use that. So C equals uh, lambda times V, or nu. We really wanna calculate uh, lambda, so let's isolate for that. Divide both sides by frequency. That means we get a new equation that looks like this. C divided by frequency equals lambda. Excellent, so we're ready to go. We've got our lambda on one side, and now we need to put in the speed of light. And then an eighth, and that's meters per second. Um, that's actually, I think, 300 million meters that this travels in one second. Just phenomenal to think about. Then you're gonna divide that by frequency. So that was up here. 1.031, that was our radio station's wave. This is excellent, see that? We're gonna be able to even cancel out our um, exponential notation. So our seconds cancel, because this is per second and then this is on the bottom, which is per second, so those cancel. Meters is our surviving unit. Again, that's why you, know, you can memorize equations, but you can just use your units to solve too. There's a meter left, and then, this is great, look at this, I'm gonna use yellow, because it's such a good thing. Our 10 to the eighth even cancels out too. I will punch this all into my calculator, but really I just have to take three divided by 1.031. That's great, okay? But I'll type the whole thing in so you get some practice. 3.00, again, use the right key there to the eighth, and then I'm gonna divide it by 1.031. Great, and then to the eighth. All right, look at that, that's a lot of digits. I'm gonna write as many as I can fit here. So we get that this is equal to 2.9097, wow, and then 96, and then times 10 to the zero. So that might confuse you, but man, don't let it. 10 to the zero is just one. So this is 2.909796 meters. But again, that's not the right sig figs. We can only keep four, so we're gonna keep 2.9, oh, and that rounds to a one. So you might think, what are you gonna do? You're gonna add a trailing zero is what you're gonna do, and you're gonna then put it in meters. Be great and box that out, and then I'm even gonna do this, and I'm gonna put it back over here. That way I know I have accomplished what I set out in this video for you guys. So I've calculated wavelength, I've calculated energy. We started with a great, fun radio station at 103.1 megahertz. And um, we've kind of done everything I've set out to do. So hopefully this video helps you. Again, tune in, check out the other videos I have. Um, and thanks for watching.